You might have heard that copper can be dangerous to your thyroid, that it can raise inflammation or, or hurt your body's overall mineral balance. And that's true at an extreme excess, but your body needs some copper. That's its main defense for the thyroid. My name is Dr. Alan Christensen. I'm a board certified naturopathic endocrinologist. Let's get your copper sorted out. So the thing is your thyroid, when it makes hormone, it does so by iodine creating free radicals. These are like little sparks, so to speak. Copper is critical for an essential antioxidant called superoxide dismutase. Its whole job is to stop these sparks so they can't hurt your thyroid. And if your copper levels are low, which many can be, then that oxidative stress in the thyroid can be the driver behind free radical damage and autoimmunity. So here's the thing, it's all about dosage. At healthy doses in the range of about 0.5 to one milligram per day, copper is good and essential. When you're consuming way above 10 milligrams per day, that's totally a problem. When I made thyroid daily, I used 0.9 milligram because that's the RDI. If you're not sure about supplements, micronutrients in your thyroid, take a look at my link in bio. There's a free thyroid supplement quiz that can give you personal guidance based on your situation. Natural treatments and diet can make a big difference, but they've gotta be personalized to your needs.